hopefully the first in a series of videos I'm going to do, which shows basically what we've got here is a customer has supplied us with a FZ1. And what he wants us to do, he has a prosthetic leg, so what he wants us to do is fit this kit that he's bought from the States, which is a leg up landing gear. And what I'm going to do is basically show this, this leg up landing gear is actually made for a Honda Goldwing. So what we've done is we've stripped it right back to the absolutely necessary components. We've taken the lower part of the fairing off, which is an aftermarket part anyway. And what we're planning to do is fit this leg up landing gear around about there. And how this works is when the bike slows down, you have a button on the, on the handlebars. When the bike slows down to under five miles an hour, by pressing the button, you can make the landing gear come down. And basically, he wants it, I mean, probably just a, a, a little bit of uh, insecurity, not knowing whether he's going to be able to hold the bike up with his one leg. So he's going to have the landing gear to give him that extra sense of security. So what I'll do is post up, I mean, that's basically the gear. You've got the compressor there, which that's why we fitted this seat hump. So we've got somewhere to put the compressor and everything. And uh, that's the landing gear there. What we're in the process of doing now is building a subframe to come off on the side, because obviously all of this frame here is made of aluminium. So what we're doing is we're making a subframe to come off what was the center stand fittings. And the subframe will come round here and up and it'll give us something to attach these little outriggers to. So I'll keep, I'll post up regular videos on how we're getting on with it. Just a quick video showing fitting Clicktronic to an FZ1. As you can see, quite a simple stainless steel bracket in three mil thick stainless. And all we've done is drilled it to suit the Clicktronic bracket and then a couple of holes here to suit the footrest mounts, the footrest mounting brackets. And what we've done is so that the footrest remains rubber mounted, we've actually put the rubber mounted washers in behind it so that the mount is actually rigid but the footrest remains rubber mounted. You can see it's, what you've basically got to do is you've got to work out that Clicktronic has to have 25 mil of movement and you can see what we've done is marked the actual 25 move, uh, the actual full movement mark, and then just taking 25 in the in the middle of it. So as you can see, that's going to change gear perfectly okay. And you want the bar here to be completely free. So what we've done is just spaced it out using a series of nuts, drilling a hole in the original gear stick. This is how far we've got so far with uh, making up the landing gear. As you can see the landing gear is mounted now using the two engine lugs at the front and making a bar, you know, custom making a bar to go through the middle there. We've taken the original mounts, These, this leg up kit was originally for a 1700 Kawasaki. We've taken the original plates that they made off and we're just literally using the wheels, the landing gear. And uh, all of the electrics, you can't actually see it, but the compressor, all of the servos and everything that is required to actually deploy the landing gear is inside this custom seat hump. What we've done is literally taken everything off the mountings. I, I will make a video when this, this panel is off to actually show how that goes. But as you can see, we've got the same on the right hand side here. And when these deploy, I'm quite amazed at how well they deploy. They deploy so quickly and they just literally come down and prop the bike up. And normally, leg up gear is fitted at the back of the bike underneath the rear footrests. But because this is a sports bike and although landing gear have actually done um, 
an R1. It was an R1 that they'd prepared for drag racing and it had a way extended swing arm and the leg up gear was out here somewhere which really would not have worked for a road bike at all. You'd have had no, you wouldn't be able to lean it over at all. So what we've done with this one is we've moved the whole thing further forward so that it's more in line with the um, center of gravity of the bike. Because bearing in mind that being a sports bike, the rider is going to be leaning forward and the weight is going to be dis you know, displaced quite evenly down through the center. So we thought, put the wheels on the front and you're actually going to have a lot more stability than if you had them right back at the rear end of the bike. So uh, anyway, we shall see when we, fitted, when we finish fitting all the electrics, we'll see how that uh, works in practice. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, getting the fucking knee down there. You know this way? Oh, get the knee down. issue is how are you going to work the side stand. If Moggy comes around here, I'll show you what I mean. He's standing, he's standing on the legs, there's no problem, you can turn the ignition off, it still stay stood on the legs, but you can't put the side stand down while the legs are down because they'll just flick the side stand back up. So we're either going to have to make a cable operation on the side stand or I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. I don't know if Mike will be able to do this with his leg, but the only other thing you can do is stand by the bike, retract the legs, and then put the side stand down. Because the side stand is where the leg, where the leg goes. 